want to see what's on my iPhone? Really? Alright, so just make sure you subscribe and you hit that like button or else I don't think I could show you. You did it? I don't know. I know you did it, but the guy in the back, did, did you do it? Alright, let's go. Roll the intro. What's going on guys, so I've been requested all the time, Siobhan please do a what's on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, so here we go, get your drinks out, get your chips, get your food, because it might be a long one, I'm trying to keep it sure, but who knows, so let's just get all the peripherals out the way guys, so for my case, I'm using a Case Defy case, also this video is sponsored by Case Defy, use my code 15 Siobhan on the website to get discount on any case defy product and also my wallpaper will be found down below in the description so i don't even know where i'm gonna put my screen but let's just put it over here so yes guys let's just start off with my home screen now i like to keep my home screen very simple and minimalistic but you know with iphones you can't really be too minimalistic because they don't give you a lot of customization options so i like to keep my settings icon down at the bottom and it's basically all the apple products right here so i like to keep like everything important so if you could see right here i have my mail youtube and my youtube studios apps kind of organized on there on the right side i have like this blue and red theme going on right here so i have the weather the app store safari and waze waze is really important because it, it i'm not going to open it because it will show my location but basically it shows traffic on site it shows if police is nearby it's basically a community based app so when traveling i get a lot of notification if cars were broken down on the road and stuff like that and all the other apps are pretty basic like the camera app clock maps the notes app which is really good but i'm still an evernote kind of guy we also have the reminders app which i use a lot and of course the app store to get all my apps and my hue app is kind of cool because i could control all my lights this is my brother's room and my room right here so in my room i have a lot of lights in here so i could change the temperature it's kind of like a, a yellow ish temperature right now so i could change that if i want to for example let's change the black lamp around the back just for now i could change the brightness but let's just change the color entirely so I'm going to change it to like pinkish. I don't know if you guys could see it around there. But yeah, basically I could just change all the colors with this app, which is really cool. On my second page, I tried to keep everything organized again. So I have my finance folder. In here I have my TD app, Scotiabank, Scotiabank Caribbean because I'm from Jamaica. So I have my Caribbean bank account and the Scotiabank up here. PayPal, Freedom for my cellular service, Telus for my cellular service, Indeed to find jobs, Credit Karma to check my credit score, TD My Spend to track all my spendings. In my e-commerce folder, I have eBay, buy and sell stuff, let go, I used to buy and sell stuff, Amazon, Kijiji, basically e-commerce apps. I use all these apps to buy and sell stuff. Navigation, this is like my travel and food app, so I always order a lot of food, which is not really good, but I do that sometimes. This Presto app is for bus passes, so if I'm not driving, I'm taking the bus. This is what I use to top up my bus passes. Uber Eats, Uber, the McDonald's app, I haven't used that in a while. The Burger King app, I use that to get like discounts sometimes, which is really cool. In this folder, it's just miscellaneous stuff, voice memos. I kind of use voice memos a lot, but apps like calculator compass I, like, I hardly use those even if i'm using the calculator i would use it from the control center i also have chirp which is basically an app for my apple watch and it gives me twitter on my apple watch which is really cool next up i have my photo and video folder and my number one app right here would be vsco and facetune 2. now you might be wondering chevron why do you use facetune no i use facetune 2 because it gives like this really nice filter that I use every single time. So this is what it looked like before. See if I could get it. This is what it looks like before, right? And this is like my favorite filter right here. It's called Fringe. And I could turn that down. 
and the good thing about this app is that you could control the colors specifically so if i go into here and i hit and i hit vibrance right i could highlight the red up there you could see highlight that floor part i could basically highlight the entire background and if i hit erase you could see where i highlighted before and then i could control the saturation without getting everything else bright so without getting my hands like super yellow if you get what i'm saying so yeah facetune is really good and i use it for a lot of my thumbnails if you guys didn't know so yeah facetune 2 is really good vseo really good again because you, you could import filters stuff like that over i use that for my thumbnails so i could use this app to put text on it if i'm not near my computer which i always use photoshop next up we have lightroom another um, picture editing program that I really enjoy camera connect this is where I connect my camera Canon camera so I can see the viewfinder or just to send pictures over Vlum really nice app for wallpapers they always give you daily wallpapers too and of course we have an ad so yeah it gives you daily wallpapers you could blur them from here you could save the blur one or not you could also preview what it would look like on your lock screen could preview what I look like on your home screen as well so yeah it's a really cool app with different wallpapers for different themes and they're they're really nice wallpapers so definitely check that app out next up we have unfold I don't know where I got this app from it's been here for a while oh yeah basically could make stories like storyboards for your Instagram so if you if you like storyboards like this if you post that to your Instagram you could like scroll through and it looks like an infinite like scrolling. It looks really cool. The Feiyu app, this is what I used to connect to my gimbal. So I could control my gimbal for my cameras. Next up, I have the games folder. And I have the PS app, PS messages, Fortnite, Mario Kart. I stopped playing Mario Kart for a really long while now because there's no multiplayer. So I don't see the need for that. Call of Duty is really fun. I play Call of Duty a lot. If you guys want to add me, let me know. Next up, I have the fitness folder. My fitness pal to track my calories. I have not opened this app yet because I said I wanted to start, but I just can't find the time to start. But I do run and I use the Nike Run Club app for that, of course. And yeah, I have a couple people on here that I compete with. The Nike Training Club is for exercises, activity. I've been crushing it recently. I think I need to upgrade my move, my move goal because. It's, it's too easy. Monday I killed it. Tuesday I killed it. Wednesday I killed it. Your boy is doing good health. And then the watch app to control my Apple Watch. Next up I have the entertainment folder where I have Netflix, Prime Video, Periscope, which is basically a live stream for Twitter, Zip FM, Jamaican radio stations on there, and Twitch to watch my favorite streamers. If you guys watch Twitch, let me know your favorite streamers down below in the comments. Next up, this is basically like my Google my google page right so i have adsense to check my um youtube checks google home to control my google home mini google photos definitely recommend you guys to download google photos because you can have unlimited storage high quality not even the google pixel allows you to have a high quality unlimited storage which is really funny i use google drive a lot to share files with my friends my clients anything of that sort i use google maps sometimes too because it's really reliable um map service google translate i use that if like in canada you have certain places that speak french and also you have certain signs that has french um writing on it so i could just use this use the app use the camera point it at anything and then it will translate for me next up we have gboard which is my primary board and i use gboard because you could obviously you could swipe to type now with the new keyboard on ios but before this is what I always use because it always has swipe to type and also my favorite part is that you can search for emojis so you can search for anything if you want to search for hand you'll find all the hands type in sad you'll see all the sad faces happy all the happy faces type in red you see all the red emojis so it's really fast to find emojis also you could find gifts just from in here so you could search for any gifts you want so CR7 GIF, you see I could just copy it just from there and send it into my groups. And yeah, Gboard is really fun. You could even customize the keyboard to any color you want, which is also really good. Google, I use this for the Google Lens feature. 
So if there's something I don't know, for example, I want to check out what, for example, I want to see what mouse this is. I could just hit shop and it will bring up the mouse, which is a Logitech MX Anywhere 2S and I could find that very easily. And it's really like handy, you know, if you, if you see a product around, you don't know where it is, you want to find the price real quick. Let's see if you could find this case. We all know this is an ear puddle, but let's see if we could find the case. It didn't find the case, but oh yes, it did find the case. See, that's really cool. So yeah, I love this app because it could find stuff like that. Let's just try this again. Let's try this wallet. And for Android phones, this is built into the camera app. Hmm. It's not finding this one. Let's try again. Nautica. Let's get this Nautica wallet, guys. Come on. Come on, Google Lens. Hmm. Couldn't find it. But you get the gist. It, it, would, it will try its best to find it. And it's, it's basically, it has all the um, widgets for, for example, on Google phones. If you swipe over to your right, you'll have this widget. So it's really nice. I'm like really big on Google services. I love Google services. Next up, I have Canada Post where I used to track my deliveries and stuff like that. Parcel track, same thing, track deliveries. Next up on this page is basically the apps that I'll get to soon, but I don't really use. So I have the podcast app, feedback because I'm running a beta. Unfollow app, I use this to follow, unfollow everyone that's not following me back. If you guys are not, Please go ahead and follow me on Instagram. You know the vibes. Wix. I use this to control my websites. Tesla. I don't have a Tesla as yet, but I have this app. So whenever I buy my Tesla, I could just easily enter my username and password. You know, not a big deal. Next up, I have BlogTO. And this is like an app that I use to find out what's happening in Toronto. All the events, the latest news, SoundCloud to support my friends in the music industry. I use Reddit a lot. If I have any issues, I jump onto Reddit. If I want to see what's new, I jump onto Reddit. I love PC builds and everything like that. So I'm always in Reddit trying to see what's new, ask questions, help people out, stuff like that. Discord I use for my friends in um, games. Like if you, have, if you play games, you know, Discord is the wave. This is where we chill. This is where we hang out. This is where we meme. Next up, I have the score. I love soccer. I love basketball. I have to keep up to date with the latest score to see who's up next, who's injured, the live scores, the watch notifications. It's nice. Auto sleep. I use this to track my sleep. I don't really know how it works. I paid like two dollars for this app, and I really it's really confusing, so I hardly use it. This Famebit app is an app for YouTubers. If you have over ten thousand subscribers, you could come onto here, find products, try to get paid for reviews. And yeah, it's a pretty cool app. I've done like a couple gigs, I think. I've worked a couple companies here, but it was a long time ago, so I hardly use that. Shopify to manage my Shopify products, Pinterest, and this cool app right here called Remote Desktop. I could use this app to control my desktop from anywhere. So if I'm at work, school, out, Jamaica, I could control my desktop at home, which is super handy. So if I forget to move a file or I forget to upload a video, I could just jump onto here and upload that video seamlessly. Seamlessly? Is that a word? Seamlessly. Seamlessly. I don't know why it's not working right now, but yeah. Next up, I have Blurify. It's just a blur, blur app I use, you know, to blur backgrounds, but... I don't know why it's there because we have portrait mode. Next up, I have Bill Cores. I use this app to like find PC, like do PC builds and stuff like that. As I said before, I like building PCs. I don't know why, but I just use this to find parts and build PC. I'm a big PC gamer now, so that's that. Photomath. You'll never know when you need to work out some problems and you don't know what to do. I always help my little sister with her math homework sometimes. So I use Photomath. It's basically an app that lets you capture equations and then it literally just spits out answers at you. So definitely a go. Productivity, my Newton Mail app. I use that a lot for my Yahoo, my Hotmail. I always separate my Gmail from my Yahoo and Hotmail. Mail app, Evernote. This is what I use for everything. 
when it comes on to scripting so if you guys didn't know always like try to to write down stuff on my videos keep it right there so just in case i need to refresh my memory i don't always read like woke up 9 45 a.m wash my face you know i just look at that and then i'll expound on it so yeah that's that linkedin business profile and then my doc is where i have all my important like must use apps so i have the phone google chrome messages and in this folder is social lifestyle so i have the twitter app instagram if you guys are not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me on instagram right now get your boy up there you know whatsapp to communicate with my friends facebook threads this is kind of interesting it's basically instagram but a messenger for instagram you know so if you don't want to see all the feed you just want to message on instagram thirds is the app to go snapchat messenger tiktok i use tiktok sometimes if i get really bored like i'm out of it nothing to do i'll jump onto tiktok telegram this is what i use to talk to my subscribers if you guys are not in this the telegram group what are you doing we have 40 members in the telegram group guys i'm gonna leave a link down below i post exclusive behind the scenes content here everyone's always talking with each other so if you guys want to join the group i'll have the link down below in the description here's a sneak peek of like stuff like these are unreleased phones i'm showing you guys but keep it on down low Shh, don't let nobody know so yeah that's telegram and yeah that's basically what's on my iphone 11 pro i don't know if i told you guys but this is the iphone 11 pro max 64 gigs in gold i wanted 256 gigs but they didn't have it i also wanted space gray but it wasn't there it was sold out i wanted the black it was it was all sold out main green sold out so i stuck with it and i love it i love the gold it looks really nice and the case i have on it is from case defy remember to use code 15 chevron at checkout at case defy links down below in the description but yeah if you guys found any apps that you've really liked let me know down below in the comments your favorite apps and also some apps that you think i should check out but yeah without any further ado as always love peace and tweaks signing out